Okay. Okay, I'm gonna show my friend Dr. Barbara Chang some coffee stuff. So do you know the difference? You can process coffee washed or dry. Okay. Okay, so let me show you the difference between washed and dry. So, this one is called washed. Mm -hmm. You see the difference? Okay, I'll just put it right here. Cause well, these are just, these are just mine, because I drink this. And this is, and this table's clean. And it's called dry. So, right away, there's a difference, right? Oh wait, sorry. So, <laughs> this is... Dry. And this is washed. Meaning that when they separate the cherry, the fruit part, from the seed of the coffee, this mm -hmm. is the seed, there's two of them in there like this, in each cherry, most of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, they use water to wash it away, and this one they just let it dry off and kind of like ferment. Oh, they just okay. use the sun. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's the difference. Now, why you would want to do that is flavor, right? So with this one, when you're leaving that cherry to ferment, it actually leaves a different taste mm -hmm. because you include that cherry. This one's washed away, so it's cleaner, cleaner, quote unquote cleaner. Does it make the taste less? Less what? Less strong. <laughs> Less strong. Uh, well, how do you define strong? As bitter? The, the flavor, the smell, the scent. Depend. 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 On. Yeah. Also depend, depend on the origin. And that, and when you are uh, done, when you when you brew it, mm -hmm. when you actually brew it, like did you brew it in a strong way or in mm -hmm. a light way? Like mm -hmm. what was the ratio of mm -hmm. water to coffee, right? So that's a really open-ended question. So this is already roasted. Already done roasted, mm -hmm. yeah. You want to see what the raw looks like? Sure. There's a tinge of green, right? Mm hmm It's it's like peanuts. Looks like peanuts, <laughs> yeah. But they're actually just little seeds. And it's still alive. It's actually still alive there like that. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to store these for too long or else they will also become stale. So that's the difference. So um, if you were wondering, like, say, say you're new to coffee, right? And you're like, well, the, the most common question that people are, are approaching me with is like, well, what's good? Is it good? <laughs> They're mm -hmm. all good. Mm -hmm. Depending on your taste, is it good for you? Mm -hmm. So I would say if you like a cleaner cup, like we talked about in the podcast, mm -hmm. right? If you like a cleaner cup or a brighter cup, this is a little bit on that spectrum of taste and flavor. Mm -hmm. This one has more body, smoother. Mm -hmm. chocolatier, mm -hmm. sweeter, sweeter, okay, mm -hmm. on the spectrum. So on the scale spectrum from acidic to sweet, that would be the taste. More, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then roasting would be how strong the caffeine has. Roasting is just, how should I say? Roasting <laughs> is just how much heat was applied in time. Mm -hmm. How much heat and time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it, it does also affect flavor as well. I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's okay. Um, this one. Oops. Sorry, that one. Yeah. I don't know. I think this one. No. See the difference? See that thing inside? Mm -hmm. So with washed coffees, you usually uh -huh. see that's called chaff. It hasn't been released yet. Wait. This chaff is more kind of like it's needed. color. Yeah. And then these are washed. Yeah, the chaff is still intact. Also because they're lightly roasted. So these beans will swell up mm -hmm. um, and release this chaff once the water. The lo the longer you roast it. Oh. Because okay. it's like like a popcorn. It's mm -hmm. like getting bigger, bigger, bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will release that. But because it's lightly roasted, it still holds on to that chaff inside. Mm -hmm. It's like a little curl. It curls mm -hmm. inside. Ooh. Cool. <laughs> so I just roasted these recently, like maybe mm -hmm. three days ago. Mm -hmm. So, and this is this is how you should. Oops, mm -hmm. that's fine. Nico will eat it. This is how you should store coffee properly as well. Does he get? Really excited when you eat the she, coffee. She's just crazy. She's just crazy no matter what. <laughs> so you see this valve here? Uh huh. This is a one-way valve for air to escape. Oh, okay. And keep it dry. Keeps it dry. Keeps it cool. 
um, keeps it as fresh as possible without applying any vacuum to this. That oh, would be the so best we, way. We need actually a storage for the coffee itself too, not just open the pack and put it there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Otherwise, so air is always coming in, oxidizing. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you, oxidizing the coffee, right? So. In order to combat that, we mm -hmm. keep them in an airtight container like this. Cool. But ideally, I'm, I move through this so quickly, I feel like I don't need to vacuum seal this, this canister all the time. I probably need this if I have a coffee. Stick. They're like 12, 10 bucks on mm -hmm. Amazon. So cheap. Yay. Yeah. And they come with like, usually, and then I'll put a note. I always put the roast Which date. date. Yeah. yeah. And then you can place your little spoon. spoon next yeah. to they it. actually come with a spoon. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's the best way. And then um, that's how we're gonna. Oh, okay. So this one. So a lot of people have those blade grinders. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. It's like a blade inside, yeah. and it just like chop, chop, chop. Mm -hmm. So that's really not ideal for the best coffee. Oh, so those electronic ones. It's not, not ideal. very good. Yeah. Okay. What you want to look for is a burr grinder. So if you look in it's here. Just like for the stalks. Yeah. 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 See okay. how it's like that? This is a conical, mm -hmm. meaning a cone-shaped burr grinder. And this is pretty affordable, maybe 15 or 20 bucks. Um, and the reason why you would want to invest in something like this, I have a better one over there, electric one, mm -hmm. um, is because it's going to grind your coffee, not chop your coffee. Mm -hmm. Meaning the grind size of the bean will be more consistent. Mm -hmm. So if you have a consistent grind, you so can the extract is very yeah you can even. extract evenly exactly mm -hmm. so just like say tea for example if you have a big leaf and a small leaf mm -hmm. it's going to pull a lot from the small leaf and a little from the big leaf right mm -hmm. so uneven but the tea is still a bit different from coffee because we don't want actually we prefer the whole leaf mm -hmm. we love the whole leaf we don't like the tea that's made with Grind it like powder yeah. leaf because that would be the tea bag you see. Out. The cheap one. Yeah. Yeah. That exactly. would be the dress <laughs> on the side and ah, then they make cool. it into the yeah. tea bag. Yeah. So the real tea, you see the real leaf the real and leaf. The, how they see the whole leaf that's cool. in there. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, so you want to start with a, a good, good grinder. grinder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can get really good coffee anywhere, honestly, mm -hmm. as long as it's fresh, right? And fresh meaning like roasted within maybe two to a month. Two to a month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I so think how, that's safe. how long does the coffee usually can store? You can Would store you coffee know? up to. It kind of depends your taste, mm -hmm. but they and this is also contended to. There's not a consensus again because each bean is kind of different. Yeah. You don't know when the crop was done oh, or whatever, okay. or harvested or whatever. So. Um, People have been telling me that they, when they open their coffee, like I sent coffee out to them during mm -hmm. the holiday or even yes. last year, it's still good. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of the container. Okay. So as long as you keep it out of... You can keep the original flavor, yeah. but if you are not, you're just opening up the package, it may not last longer yeah, than that two is, or three months. I th yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then it's just complete different th taste. Yeah, who knows? It's like, who knows if it's going to be fresh. What you, can, what you can tell is when you brew it, if you see bubbles, mm -hmm. that's a good sign. Okay. That it is fresh. Like, oh, okay, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, and what's next? Um, that's it for that. I just want to start out with something very simple, very basic, mm -hmm. and and kind of wet people's palate, and then go, just to understand, I need a good grinder. Uh -huh. I can really get good coffee. Well, anywhere. improve these information for everyone. Oh, well, mm -hmm. right here. This is okay. Yay! Get to try some coffee from Meg. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna do pour over for you. Okay. So, oh, you can tell, teach me how pour over is so important on um, the water. How oh, we... yeah, it's more like you could easily screw it up. Mm -hmm. That's why um, I always recommend this instead. This is a great brewer because you can't screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> you can't screw up the brewing process, which is great. Uh -huh. So our water is still heating right now, and um, we have Peru in the grinder ready to go. We're on a medium, medium grind here, and I find that that's just, it tastes the best for pour over. So with pour over, we have a filter, mm -hmm. and you are being poured over into here. The reason why um, you can mess this up is because you need to have a steady hand and the right timing. This can get very scientific. I don't really do that. Mm -hmm. um, 
because I, I basically eyeball everything to my taste. Mm -hmm. So we just wait now. Okay. So then we throw this water away. Okay, the first one? Yeah, just like the tea. What you say? Yeah, for the tea, the first one we 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 clean it, and then um, the second. Okay, this could be loud. Now, <laughs> <laughs> we level Half it. Awake. <laughs> level it a little bit, and then this one about 40 seconds. Uh, we call this bloom, bloom the coffee, bloom, mm -hmm. like the flower bloom. Yeah, like the flower bloom. So what you're doing is pre-wetting all of the coffee grounds right now. Okay, you see all these bubbles, right? Very fresh. That means it's fresh. Okay. I wait a little bit and then I continue. So we're dripping the coffee. It's called pour. Pour over. And you do this, you try to keep the stream constant. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking for this color change as I pour. I don't want to hit the sides of the filter because that's called bypass. I'm bypassing the coffee and that's an uneven extraction. So this is this method is definitely more meditative. Mm -hmm. You have more time in the morning. And I want to get these grounds to lay down flat at the end of the brew. And this all must be done within a certain amount of time because the goal, number one, is even extraction, right? Mm -hmm. So just give it a little toss. And that's it. Made with love. Ready. <laughs> Enjoy.